Hello and welcome to this channel. If you have a restriction, just exactly like what you're seeing on the screen, I will take you through a step-by-step -step process of how to get it resolved in within um, five minutes or less. Well, as you can see, advertising access reinstated. Thank you for confirming your identity. You can now advertise your ads, personal ad account, and other affected ad asset. Advertising asset will return to their previous states. Yeah, so I'm going to show you. This one was done in less than five minutes, and I'm going to show you exactly the step by step procedure that I followed and how you can also follow the same process to get your advertising access reinstated. So let's go into the details. If your account is disabled and you are told your advertising access was restricted for security reasons, this means you can't run ads or manage ad account. To reinstate your advertising access, confirm your identity. This helps us prevent fraud and impersonation on our platform. So I advise you, please don't do this on the phone. Do it on a computer, okay? To do this on the phone, you may have problems. So first of all, you log into your um, computer and then you come to your left-hand corner. you see something like Ad Manager. So log into the ad manager you may get something like facebook account is restricted from advertising you can use this ad account to advertise select see details to learn why to learn why and what you can do to resolve this issue okay so this one is a user account restriction we have ad account restriction we have page restriction and we have, um, what do you call it? We also have business manager. So if you click here, for example, they will take you in account, they will take you to account quality. Then if you come to, if you click on it, but if you click here, see details, it will take you to account quality, which is this place. Or if you want, there are some time you may, if it is a page restriction, you may not see this warning. So in that case, you have to come here and click on um, account quality. If it is a page, a business manager, or an ad account, which is not the one you are open to, there may be several ad accounts. If it's a different ad account, you may not see it here. So in that case, you have to click on account quality, and then you will come to account quality. Now, on account quality, look at the top right-hand corner. You will see what you can do, what you can do. So when you click on, uh, as you see here, they're saying you can, you once you start this process, you have 30 days to finish before your advertising access is permanently restricted. This process can take up to 48 hours after you submit it. Now, um, in some cases, in some cases, if um, you look at the left hand side, the left hand side here, if it is not a user account and it's a page, you may have to scroll down. If it is a page, you may see it down here, or you may have to, or if it's a business manager, you may have to click on account overview. When you click on account overview, you will see view my accounts. Then when you go to view my accounts, you will see if it's a business manager, you will see it here and you have to click on it open it before you can request a review that is if it is a business manager okay now if it is um a facebook user account so that is i'll come back to the user account this is a user account so as you can see they're saying you started request for review of your advertising access but didn't finish you have 29 days left to complete your request before your advertising access is permanently restricted okay so i'm um, to now start the request for review so you click on continue request then upload a picture of yourself so if you click on continue request they may ask you uh, to confirm your email address so you have to put your email address they'll send a code to your email and you confirm they may also send they may also ask you to confirm your phone number then you have to confirm it then before you even submit please make sure that the name uh, the name your first and last name and your email uh, and, and, and your and your um date of birth is matching if your first and last name are not matching you come to the 
um, your Facebook profile setting, go to the settings and privacy from there, click settings. Then you make sure that the name is exactly the same. If the name is not the same, you make it changes. After you change it, you scroll to about section. Okay. You come to contact and basic info. Check your birth date, your, uh, uh, what do you call it? Your date of birth, the year and the month and the day. Make sure that if they are not exactly the same as what you're using on your ID card, change it. Because if it doesn't match, they will disable your account permanently. Okay. Now, after you do that, now you come and upload your image. And then, uh, first of all, they are asking that you upload your image. After that, they may ask of your ID card. And what ID card can you use? You can use your passport. You can use your passport. You can use your national ID card. You can use your driving license. All those are allowed. You can use all those ones. Uh, and then, so when you have it ready, your passport, your driving license, your national ID or national voter ID card. If you have it ready, you click on upload. So first of all, you upload your picture. After you upload your picture, make sure the picture is clear for security reasons. I'm blaring it out. But make sure that your name, your picture is clear and everyone can at least, anyone who is going to review it from the Facebook team can see exactly and know that that is you. Okay. So they need to see a clear picture of you. Then after that, you click continue. Okay. So they are asking that you upload your ID. So you click on upload. Then upload a picture of your government ID. Make sure it appears clearly. And then your first and last name is there, your middle name and your date of birth. Everything is clear on it. If it is not clear, you make sure that you make everything clear. Then after that, you click on continue request. They said thank you for completing the identity confirmation process. We are always looking for the security of our community. So while we wait, uh, you won't be able to advertise. So you have to just wait. And normally it takes within 48 hours for you to get uh, your account reinstated if you keep on checking. So uh, it, it even takes less than 48 hours. They will say 48 hours, but sometimes it can even take even five minutes or 10 minutes and your account is reinstated. Yeah. So that is exactly what you have to follow in order to get your account reinstated. Please take time to subscribe to this channel and then share this video and like it. Uh, other people may be interested. It will help them be able to resolve their problems. So please uh, like it and share it. And then remember to leave your comments in the comment section so that whatever problems that you have, we can help you also uh, get your issues resolved. You can also look at the testimonies on the screen. Please take time to contact us. Our WhatsApp link is in the description. You can follow it to WhatsApp us. You can also check the, our website. You can follow it to our website to place an order for us to help you on Zoom. We are always available for you and our intention, our aim is to help you get your advertising issues resolved, be able to advertise effectively, make more sales online. Thank you so much once again for watching and bye-bye.